There's nothing quite like train travel on any railway, but this railway, well, it's something a little bit different. It's quiet, it's net carbon positive, it's the world's first solar train right here in Australia. Commencing in 2017, the Byron World First Solar Train operates 364 days a year, welcoming aboard the locals and travellers to ride the historically restored train service. Operating along the coast between North Beach and Byron Beach in the northern New South Wales town of Byron Bay, the train, much like Byron, is something very different to anything else around. Operating from the power of the sun, the train has solar panels across its roof, which along with charging at North Beach Station from the building's solar panels, keep the train's batteries charged. The train itself was built over 70 years ago in 1949 and operated services all around New South Wales until the early 90s. From then it was retired until 2013 when it was restored and began operating sell-out trips throughout the Blue Mountains. It's a relatively straight trip running roughly three kilometres and only a few hundred metres from the coast. Along the way you'll pass along the back of houses and hotels, through the forest and across a creek. Wildlife is often spotted including lizards of various shapes and sizes right from the window of the train. The journey takes roughly 10 minutes each way at a cost of $10 return and can be used as an easy net zero fun alternative to driving and paying for parking in Byron. The train set consists of 661 and 726, with both carriages having solar panels installed on the roof. 661 leads the train from North Beach and 726 in the opposite direction from Byron Beach. Six six one was initially constructed as the first of ten six hundred class sets and numbered six o one. The train was built post World War Two in the same workshop as aircraft bombers previously were in Sydney. North Beach Station is the train's main hub, where it sits between runs, allowing travellers to explore the outside of the train and a chance to get a photo next to or on board. The overnight stabling facility and the charger is also located here. Upgrades to 661 in 1973 saw a new Cummins engine installed, which can still be used today if required. This engine was more fuel efficient, produced cleaner emissions and were considered quieter However, nowhere near as quiet as today's train. The diesel engine is still installed as a backup if the train has an electrical fault. Regenerative braking is also fitted to the train which allows braking energy to recharge the batteries as the train slows down. Usually, the energy used to slow down trains is wasted. The passenger compartment is still original from construction. 726 has a slightly different story to 661 after construction 13 years later in 1962. The cabin consists of different newer blue seating. Compared to 661, this carriage was only unused for around 10 years before being restored to provide a two carriage set.
let's go trackside and take a look and enjoy the sights and sound of this spectacular piece of engineering. As the train approaches from Byron Beach, we take a look at the unused jetty line which parallels the current operational line from Byron Beach to Kendall Road with an old rail shed also still standing. Well there you have it, the world's first solar train and what such a fitting place to have it. Just like the train, the township of Byron Bay is so different to anywhere else. So if you get the chance, go visit, go check out the train. We'd just like to thank the hardworking volunteer staff who were on board the train who made our journey on the railway even more special. You won't find a friendlier heritage railway anywhere in Australia. Well that's it for today's video so make sure to subscribe to us to see more footage from the Byron Bay Solar Train. We've got more footage including onboard footage coming very soon. Also go follow the Byron Bay Solar Train on Facebook and Instagram. All the links will be in the description. But yeah that's it for today's video so thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.